Hey lands, welcome back to another game of chess. This is day 133 of my series to get to 2k on chess.com. Uh, I tried to play a game this morning and my internet cut out, so I'm not sure if that will happen again. But if it does, it is what it is. I lost the game on time because of the internet cutting. I was winning, I was up a piece. But let's see what we can do today and uh, see if the internet holds. I will be getting the Wi-Fi fixed tomorrow, so hopefully this won't be an issue anymore. But let's see how we can do in the game today. So we're at 1655. And we're playing against a 1567. Is that? Yeah, that's Malaysia. I just met somebody from Malaysia. And we will go into a Jabava. And I do feel a lot more confident about this opening. He's going for an England Gambit, which I absolutely hate playing. I know the best move is to take here. <clears throat> but I'm not going to take any more, I think, after this. I'm just going to try to develop here. If he wants to take, I will um, take queens off the board. And let's uh, let's try get my king castle as soon as possible. I hate playing against the England. If he wants to take here, I will take this pawn. Okay, so he's traded. He's traded down. Uh, going here with a check forces doubled pawns, which looks pretty good for me. I'm going to go for this. I know it seems uh, it seems crazy. I am just trading, but look at his pawn structure. Like This is, this is definitely going to be better for me, isn't it? Um, this knight can come to these squares, so let's just frustrate that knight by putting a pawn here. And I'm just using my pawns. Can't put my knight here because I blocked my own bishop in. Seems like my internet's holding. Let's get the knight over here. His rook can come here, which does scare me a bit. I'll put my knight here. If he wants to take, I'll take, take, take. I think then everything is kind of opened up. Maybe it's improved his pawn structure a bit, but... My pieces can now develop. <clears throat> Taking allows his knight into the position. So I think if I just let him take, that will, that seems best. Let's get my knight here. Hitting this, uh, this guy. And maybe we can double these pawns. Okay, so we've doubled his pawns. I do have an isolated pawn here, an isolated pawn here. So, let's go after this pawn. Take, if he takes, we win a pawn. He's going after this pawn, so maybe we just defend it. Going here, he can't take because of checkmate. So this is a good move. It's probably an even game. But hopefully not. Hopefully we can win this. Um, take, take. Not a fan. But let's say I go here. If he pushes, come here now. Um, probably everything is, is okay here, like taking this and having an isolated pawn. But pushing also seems okay. And going here and going after this guy, or even here. Let's try this. Because <clears throat> he can't get behind it because the pawn is holding. If he goes back here, yeah, is he going to win a piece here? I don't know how to save this pawn. I mean, going here looks look good, but then here. Let's go for a check first. He's going to go here. It's his only move. And then maybe we can win this pawn. And this wins us this pawn. He should have gone back this way, maybe. Okay. I think 
I'll trade off rooks. And my pawn is closer to the end than his. Maybe I have a chance here. If I go here, I hit this guy. And he can't hit this one because I can push it. Let's push this pawn up and go for this. It's just going to march his king over. I think I'll try to get my king up here and win this one. Hit this one and this one. We take this with check. Why did he move here? Okay, there's the resign. That looked really, really tricky and confusing. I'm not good with rook and pawn endgames, but I think I found some decent moves there in the end. That was that was tricky. Let's go into the review here and see. 92.1? Wow. <laughs> I'm actually really happy to see that. He played really well too. So it looks like the game was basically even for, for the majority of it. It looks like I had a slight advantage at the start when he offered this gambit. And I did make a mistake here uh, going after this bishop. This is what I was really trying to go for. Uh, but then the rest of the game was basically completely even. You get these high accuracies when the game is, is like this. Like it, almost every move is considered okay. So I didn't play all the best moves, but looks like I found a lot of the right ones. Like pushing this pawn wasn't totally correct. But here, yeah, this was this was a mistake because we take here, and then if he comes here, you know, we've got we we've got two pawns. He's got a zero. If he ever takes this, we can just go here, and then he moves the king. We win the rook. But if he takes here, then we can trade off. So we probably just go here and try to hold it. That's probably what I would have done. But we had a lot of time there. We were able to figure that out. 2100. My opponent played at 2k. We both made mistakes at the start. And we both had good middle and end games. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this game. But uh, I definitely do need to study my rook and pawn end games. Because those are quite common in chess. Uh, the game didn't have much exciting in the, in the start or the middle. But that was, that was just an end game. I haven't had a rook end game in a while. So this was a good one to practice on. But pretty happy with how I played that. Couple mistakes, couple inaccuracies, but overall, pretty pretty solid. I'm really happy we got through this video without Wi-Fi disconnecting. We're up to 1661. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for channel memberships. Thanks for sharing the video. You guys are awesome. See you guys tomorrow.